Hello, I am Nagendra Krishnapura from the Department of Electrical Engineering at IIT Madras. I will be the instructor for this course, Basic Electrical Circuits. What are electrical circuits? They are basically interconnections of electronic or electrical components and every electrical and electronic gadgetry that uh, you see around you uh, forms an electrical circuit. So, they are absolutely everywhere around us. Just to give you some examples, this shows a teardown of a mobile phone that I took from the internet. It has a large number of uh, electrical circuits, some of which are marked on this figure. Similarly, if you take a laptop, it also is basically a bunch of uh, circuits. And just to use a different domain, here I have shown uh, transformers. Many of you would have seen this outside while uh, traveling or maybe outside buildings and so on. The one on the left side is a very large transformer, it is probably the size of a room. The one on the right side is also a transformer, it is only a few millimeters in each dimension. Both these are transformers and the general principles are the same for uh, the two of them. So, what is this particular course all about? Here, we discuss analysis techniques applicable to all circuits. So, the goal is not to try and make circuits for a particular gadget, but to see how you can analyze circuits which uh, consist of any kind of components. Once you are uh, given the characteristics of the components and the uh, interconnections of the circuit, you should be able to solve for the circuit. Okay? And it turns out that this is one of the most important courses for electrical and electronic streams in engineering. And this course turns out to be a prerequisite for uh, networks and systems, electrical machines, analog circuits and also it turns out for uh, placements in uh, uh, companies that do electrical engineering because typically these interviews start off with uh, uh, questions about uh, basic circuits. Okay. So, here is a quick rundown of the topics that we will be going through in this course. First, we will define uh, electrical uh, quantities and electrical elements. Then, we will see how to systematically go about analyzing circuits. Then, we will uh, discuss some circuit theorems, which uh, firstly are used to uh, elucidate certain general properties of circuits and also secondly, sometimes they make uh, circuit analysis very easy. If you recognize that it has a certain property, it obeys a certain theorem, it becomes very easy to solve for the circuit. Then we will go take a look at one and two port networks, which are useful abstract representations of uh, complex systems. Okay, For instance, if you have an amplifier, to one side you plug in a microphone, to the other side a loudspeaker, that can be thought of as a two port network. Okay, The microphone being connected to one of the ports and the loudspeaker to the other port. And then we will look at uh, negative feedback, which is a very powerful way of uh, realizing uh, accurate circuits and the op amp, which is the most popular way of uh, realizing negative feedback circuits. And finally, we will look at uh, circuits that contain energy storage elements, such as inductors and capacitors. It turns out that these are considerably more complicated to analyze than uh, circuits which have only resistors. But of course, using differential equations, they can be analyzed. We will see how to do that by taking a quick look at uh, differential equations and their solutions and how to calculate uh, the total response of an RC or RL or RLC circuit. And also it turns out that in sinusoidal steady state, it is quite easy to calculate the response of these circuits. We will see how to do that as well. The core structures, uh, it will be about two lecture hours per week. But of course, this is a MOOC and the lectures will be organized into shorter segments with assessments after each segment. There will be uh, weekly assignments and I would expect the workload. In order to be able to learn this material really well, to be about four hours outside of watching the video lectures. Now, what are the goals of this course? They are to learn circuit analysis and learn it very well. And the key to do that is to practice, practice and practice problem solving. Now, here I am not referring to mindless practice of uh, solving hundreds or thousands of uh, the same kind of problem, but a very mindful uh, way of uh, solving problems where you solve a problem step by step uh, and understand what you are doing at every step. Okay? So, you should be able to understand why the answer comes out the way it does in every step, 
only then you will be able to understand the material and even master it okay this is extremely important you don't learn this kind of subject just by watching the lectures you have to put in the work to solve the problems yourselves and once you do that you find that it's quite easy to uh, solve any other kind of circuits that you may see okay and uh, here are some uh, resources there are a number of uh, reference books hayton kemerly is a very popular book it has a large number of problems that you can uh, try and solve and the smurthy and kamath also has a very large number of problems and it has particularly challenging problems as well so it's a good book to follow and also there is a book by de carlo and lim uh, about linear circuit analysis this again has a number of problems but besides that certain aspects of uh, linear circuits are explained very well in this book now there are also a number of uh, resources on the internet our uh, recorded lectures are at the first url given here Uh, this is basically a course that's a more advanced version of this course and it also covers a little more ground but uh, there are lectures that are relevant to what is being covered in this course you can refer to them if you want to and you also have an nptel course by professor s c dattaroy on circuit theory which also you can refer to okay so these are all meant to supplement what is being taught in this course of course the lectures of this course will be available to you which you can uh, watch and the advantage of a mooc is that uh, you can uh, watch it any time and you can pause fast forward repeat the sections that are difficult and so on so please make use of all these facilities and understand the material really well in addition to those things there are some uh, course specific resources which will be the online forum as well as uh, hangouts which will be once every few weeks for discussions either with the teaching assistant or with myself please use all of these things again to get all of your doubts cleared get all of your concepts uh, uh, clear and so that finally you should be able to learn how to solve problems okay so enjoy the course thank you